What's up, YouTube? And what you know, my name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to the first of our Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review videos. Now, as of this video, the Sun and, An the Sun and Moon anime is like 42 episodes in, and we're not going to go back and do a review on all of those, but I do want to start reviewing them, starting with episode 42, which just aired this past weekend. Now, this video, we're going to be talking about episodes 1 through 41, kind of like a super quick speed through of it so uh, now if you're watching the sun and moon anime we're going to be going over the japanese version so only the sub stuff if you're someone that's waiting for the dub well, this is going to be full of spoilers you might not want to watch these until maybe those episodes come out um, but like i said in today's episode we're going to talk about all of the characters that are in sun and moon and kind of give my impressions on them uh, and then we're going to Go through the quick list of episodes and see if there's anything in there notable that we want to talk about. Now, <clears throat> since this is the first time that I'm doing anything like this, the first several videos of this, I'm going to be trying to figure out how this works and hope I'm probably going to babble on um, forever, but we'll see. Uh, so bear with me while we go through this. So first up, we're going to go ahead and start talking about Ash, of course. So Ash is still our main character. He is still 10 I don't think he I don't think he's been changed let's see uh, yep he is still 10 according to this so um, in the beginning of the Sun and Moon series Ash travels with his mom to the Alola region uh, after they won a trip via the lottery now while they're there they obviously come across the Pokemon school um, which is led by an Alolan Professor Oak um, or I okay I'm reading here uh, Ash gave his callous Pokemon to Professor Oak who gave him and his mother a Pokemon egg to deliver to Samson Oak uh, who is Samuel Oak's cousin the professor in uh, the professor in Alola now when Ash gets there he winds up going up against Tapu Koko um, and he goes into the Pokemon school all this stuff he winds up getting a Z ring from Tapu Koko uh, and he currently has Electrium Z Normalium Z and Rockium Z. I think he has those three and he uses those with his Pokemon, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Um, he's obviously befriended a whole lot of people as he always does. And we'll be talking about all of them uh, as we go through. So let's go ahead and jump to talking about his Pokemon. Uh, Pikachu is still Pikachu, but Pikachu doesn't fight very often, which I think is wonderful. I think that's exactly how Pikachu should have been used in all regions after like Johto. Pikachu doesn't fight very often, but when it does, Pikachu still has the four moves that it's always had. Um, hold on, let me get to it, let me get to it, let me get to it. Oh my gosh, this article is so long on Pikachu. Holy, okay. So, Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, Iron Tail, and Electro Ball are still Pikachu's four moves. I uh, haven't seen anything new. have seen Gigavolt, Havoc, and Breakneck Blitz um, from Pikachu, the Z moves. Uh, but as far as the four normal moves, it's the four moves it's Pikachu's rocked out with for several years. Uh, but when Pikachu does fight, typically ends battles in one or two swings. Um, I guess in gym battles, let's see if I can find it. Or in, uh, not gym battles. Um, trials. In trials, I guess Pikachu does fight. Um, but Pikachu typically wins. I don't think Pikachu's been fainted in the Sun and Moon anime. Not that I can remember, anyway. I think Pikachu's managed to win all of them. So, um, that's real quick on Pikachu. I don't really want to talk much about Pikachu. We know what Pikachu do. Uh, let's go on to Ash's Rowlet. So, Ash, Ash's Rowlet typically hangs out in Ash's backpack and is typically shown sleeping. Sometimes Ash will go to call on Rowlet and Rowlet will be asleep. Um, so Ash has to wake him up and then Rowlet's pretty strong um, with Leafage, Tackle, and Peck being shown so far. Also with Breakneck Blitz and Ash must have uh, Grassy MZ that I did not remember because we did see Bloom Doom uh, Z move a, a few episodes back. Uh, but yeah, I, I do like Ash's Rowlet. I think Ash's Rowlet is going to very obviously evolve into Decidueye. Um, so with... Um, Pokemon Tournament adding Decidueye, I think it only makes sense. You know, if you think about Brakeson um, being in Pokemon, Serena had Brakeson, Brakeson never evolved. So I think that just makes it super obvious um, that we will be getting Decidueye at some point. Actually, that point just made me think about something for new, for another Pokemon that we'll talk about here in just a minute. 
Um, but that's real quick Ash's Rowlet. Uh, now the next Pokemon that Ash caught was his Rockruff. So this Rockruff we originally thought was Professor Kukui's, uh, but it turned out that it was just living with Kukui. It wasn't actually owned by Kukui. So it wound up going with Ash, and while under Ash, it was uh, going against um, Olivia and Olivia's uh, Lycanroc, who was a midday Lycanroc, and wound up actually starting to fight against Ash's own Rockruff, and even knocked out Rockruff. And in reflecting on that, Rockruff ran away, and in the next episode, we see Rock Rockruff with both of the Lycanrocs, midday, or Olivia's midday Lycanroc, and Gladian's Midnight Lycanroc and winds up evolving into the new Dusk form Lycanroc. And we've talked about Dusk Lycanroc on the channel before, but I think anime Dusk Lycanroc is amazing. Um, so moves that we have right now, we have Tackle, Bite, Rock Throw. And as we saw in the most recent episode, Ash's Lycanroc does have uh, a, a, a cell Rock or a cellar Rock. A cellar Rock, yeah, there's another E right there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Probably going to get counter at some point, because uh, that's kind of like the big thing with um, uh, Dusk Lycanroc. But Breakneck Blitz and Continental Crush has been seen. As I said, Ash does have Rocky and Z that he got from winning against Olivia. Um, so that's that. And the last Pokemon of Ash's is his Litten. Uh, so Litten was a wild Pokemon um, that was being taken care of by a wild Stoutland. Uh, who is actually the first Pokemon that I believe we've seen die in the Pokemon anime. Now, there's been some things that maybe this thing didn't die, maybe Stoutland just left, and we're going to see Stoutland in the future. There's been some hints at that. Uh, but Ash's Rowlet has Ember, Firefang, and Scratch that we've seen in recent episodes. Um, so it's it's recently mastered its Firefang attack. It, does, it has used Breakneck Blitz. So it looks like all of Ash's Pokemon have used Z-moves. Uh, but Litten is kind of like the one, I don't know, why are the fire Pokemon always the one with the big stories about being abandoned by somebody? I, I don't know, but Litten is the same way. Um, I think Litten will wind up evolving all the way to Incineroar. Uh, Incineroar seems like a very Ash Pokemon to me, and we haven't seen any of Litten's evolutions. Typically, if like another Pokemon is going, if a Pokemon's not going to evolve, like let's say Oshawott, for example, we saw Duat, we saw Samurott from other trainers, so it was pretty obvious that there was going to be no, uh, no evolutions for little Oshawott. But now I think about it, did Oshawott evolve into Duat? Hold on, I can see it right here. Hold on, did Oshawott evolve? No, Oshawott did not evolve. Um, but I do think we'll see uh, Ash's Litten evolve. So that is all of that. Now let's see if I can if I can navigate back to Ash. Okay, cool. So let's move on. The next character we're gonna talk about real quick is Lily. No, Lily. Lily? Lily? Why does that not sound right? Uh, oh my gosh, where am I going? Hold on. Hold the phone. I'm navigating around Bulbapedia's website right now. Okay, so let's talk about, oh, actually, we can talk about Rotom Dex. I absolutely love Rotom Dex. I think Rotom Dex is absolutely hilarious. Uh, he's one of my favorite, he's probably, aside from Ash, my favorite character, eh, maybe aside from Ash and Lily, my favorite character in the Sun and Moon anime. I think he's absolutely hilarious. He goes around taking pictures of everything, which we're going to talk about in our episode 42 review, because he does a pretty epic thing when they head back to Kanto, but, um... Yeah, that's pretty much all to say about Rotom Dex. Um, Lily, uh, Lily was a character that was seen to be very scared of Pokemon from the very beginning. Uh, couldn't touch any Pokemon. Even got uh, got handed the Pokemon egg and couldn't even touch the egg. Uh, so while Lily uh, take cares of the egg, takes care of the egg, the egg hatches into an Alolan Vulpix, which she names Snowy. Um, in the, uh, I guess in the in the US anime, names it Snowy. I'm pretty sure it's Snowflake in the Japanese anime is what it translated over to. But um, Snowy knows Powder Snow, and it's pretty strong Powder Snow. There was a time that Lily and Ash switched Pokemon. So Ash took uh, Alolan Vulpix and Lily took Pikachu. And in that episode, I think Ash gets trapped inside of a uh, Palisand, and uh, it's up to Snowflake, Snowy, to freeze it with Powder Snow, and it's strong. So uh, but anyway, 
Lily has matured uh, in recent episodes. We've seen her be overcome her fear of Pokemon to get on her ride Pokemon of Stoutland. Um, it took the entire episode, but Lily finally got on it. Uh, we've also seen Gladian in the series, and there it's we know that they're brothers or brother and sister. And we've also seen pictures of Lusamine, but I don't think we've run into Lusamine at all yet. Um, so that's that. Lily's pretty simple. Um, Kiawe is the next one that we talk about. Uh, Kiawe was kind of like acting too too big, too important uh, for everybody. Um, in recent episodes, he's kind of come down a bit. I don't remember if they've if Ash and I don't know if Ash has beaten Kiawe yet, um, but I'm sure that Ash would totally win at this point. Um, Kiawe very regularly rides around his Charizard. Um, and he uses his Turtonator and his Alolan Marowak as his fighting Pokemon. Uh, so his Turtonator was kind of his was his first one that we saw uh, that wasn't Charizard. It very regularly uses the Fireum Z um, Inferno. What's it called? Inferno something something. Inferno Overdrive. Okay, that's what I thought. Inferno Overdrive has the move Shell Trap, Flamethrower, Dragon Tail, and Shell Smash. Uh, Turtonator is very strong coming in and just kind of very regularly wiping out Pokemon in one move. Um, even went up against his Alolan Marowak and was able to weaken it enough that uh, Kiawe could catch it. Uh, that Alolan Marowak, let's see, where where am I? Where am I? Here we go. So Alolan Marowak, uh, we saw Alolan Marowak in an episode called Crowning Moment of Truth where they were going over the crown of Wella um, Volcano and Marowak stole the, stole the crown and uh, ran away until it was eventually caught by Kiawe. Uh, that Marowak knows the move Flame Wheel. Um, and we saw it in the most recent episode. And we'll talk about that in the next video that we do uh, in this series. Uh, but yeah, this Marowak very regularly likes to build up rivalries with just any Pokemon that it sees. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. I'm trying to see if it gives me a specific example of that. Uh, but it, it, in the most recent episode, it does. So we'll talk about that when we get there. Let's go back. Who's our next person that we talk about? Um, Mallow. Not much. I mean, Mallow in episode 41, I guess, had a pretty important thing. But uh, Mallow is, of course, the grass trainer who has a bounce sweet that evolved into a Steenie. Uh, and Steenie is pretty strong uh, from what we've seen. Has sweet scent, double slap, and magical leaf. Uh, but very regularly, like, takes care of the chores along with Mallow. So Mallow is, uh, Mallow comes from working with her dad in a restaurant. And in episode, I guess it was episode 39, uh, Mallow was being overworked by her father and ran away, tripped on a rock, fell down a hill, injured her knee, and was found by an Orangaroo, uh, who, I guess, helped her recover. Um, but through that episode, we find out that that Orangaroo was actually the same one that helped out her dad several years ago. Um, and that was kind of all that that was. So Mallow, there's not really much about Al about Mallow that we know. So we'll move straight on to Lana. I like Lana. Lana is one of my more favorite characters. She's a very quiet person as she is in game. Uh, but she's of course the water trainer. She has a Poplio that she's training. And in, in most recent episodes, um, she actually went up against the um, wishy washy um, totem Pokemon and earn herself her own Z-Ring from that. So she trained um, with Poplio in episode 40 um, to learn Hydro Vortex as a Z-Move. And after several failed attempts, um, wound up going against a Delmize where they were able to successfully execute Hydro Vortex and defeated the Delmize. So um, this is kind of, Lana's Poplio is the only water Pokemon owned by any of the main series. So I don't think Ash is going to be getting any type of water Pokemon unless he brings some back from uh, where he went. But we'll talk about that in the next video, as I said. Um, but yeah, Poplio has Bubble Beam and Aqua Jet. Um, I do like Lana. Hopefully she'll get more time. The one I don't like is Sophocles. Sophocles is really annoying. Electric type trainer with Togedemaru and charge a bug um kind of he's he's afraid of dark places um but his token amaro typically lights stuff up i don't know i don't like i don't like sophocles so that's all we're gonna say about him 
So quickly talking about Team Rocket. Uh, Team Rocket, of course, followed Ash out. Um, but they're, they're, they don't show up as often in this series. Um, and when they do, it's pretty cool. So they currently, um, Jessie has her Wobbuffet with her. Uh, kind of as, you know, comic relief as Wobbuffet always is. But also has Mimikyu. Um, and Mimikyu is shown to be really strong. Um, does not like Pikachu at all. So uh, absolutely hates Pikachu. Every time Jesse throws Mimikyu out, Mimikyu's trying to find Pikachu. If Pikachu's not there, Mimikyu's kind of not interested. In episode 38, um, actually Mimikyu's um, cover got torn and Jesse didn't think it was a big deal at first. Uh, put a, just a paper bag over Mimikyu. Um, and was able to, I, I guess, was trying to get Mimikyu to move on. Saw that Mimikyu wasn't going to move on from uh, from the uh, the Pikachu cover. Got it fixed. And now Mimikyu seems to be acting whatever Jesse says. Seems to be obeying, even if it's not Pikachu. Obviously, when it's Pikachu, when Pikachu's there, that's like its only target. Mimikyu just wants to go after Pikachu. Because as we know, um, Mimikyu, just as a Pokemon, does not like Pikachu. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I do think that there's a, um, I think Team Rocket, I don't remember if they were, oh, well, they don't have a Z-Ring. Uh, I know they did go after the Dark EMZ, um, but I don't think they've been able to use a Z-Ring just yet. So Mimikyu has Play Rough, Shadow Claw, Wood Hammer, and Shadow Ball. So we haven't seen any, uh, we haven't seen any Mimikyu attack, or any Mimikyu Z-Moves. And then James has his Marini who as with all of James Pokemon has some strange attraction to him. Every time Marini gets thrown out, goes over J uh, James' face and poisons him uh, to make James look more like Marini. I don't know, we might see a Toxapex there and that would be super cool and really powerful. I think this Team Rocket team is shaping up to be the most powerful that it's been. Um, and then Team Rocket has a, has a beware that no matter where they go, this beware shows up and saves them from being blasted off. Very strange, and we'll see what happens with that over time. We really don't know anything. We don't know where Be Beware is from. We know that Team Rocket like lives with Beware. Excuse me, um, but we don't, we don't know anything more than that. So that's it on Team Rocket. Um, we talked kind of a little bit about Kukui. Uh, we talked a little bit about um, the Alolan Professor Oak. So that's really all that there is to be said about that. Um, let's see, can we, yeah, so let's go, th oh, 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 okay, so let's, let's just skim through these episodes, um, so I'm just gonna kind of go over, I'm gonna talk myself through all of these episodes real quick, so Ash gets to Alola, meets Tapu Koko, gets the Z ring, uh, along with the Z, um, Electrium Z, uh, catches Rowlet, Meets all of these people. We see Poplio. We see Toga Demaru. Uh, we see Litten for the first time with an Alolan Persian. Um, Lily gets her egg. Ash goes against a, the, the first totem Pokemon. Uh, and then here, let's talk about this one. So Ash faces off against Hala for the, um, in the first Grand Trial. So if I remember correctly... So Pikachu performs Breakneck Blitz for the first time. Uh, Ash winds up battling against Hala, who uses for Brawler. Is that it, or does it, is there two? Okay, so I think it's only one. Again, I haven't seen this in, a, in quite a long time. This is episode ten, um, so I haven't seen this in a long time. We're at episode forty-two now, uh, but Ash does wind up winning, getting himself the Fighty MZ. Okay, I didn't remember that. Um, so Ash also has the Fight EMZ, but we haven't seen him use it anywhere. I guess we'll see. Maybe Ash will get a uh, maybe Ash will get a, a, a Komo'o on his team eventually and be able to use that. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, okay, so let's continue on. They travel to the second island um, where they visit um, Kiawe and his family. <sighs> team Rocket does a thing. Um, Alolan Raichu. Uh, well then we get to see an episode, I guess, is this episode, what happens in this episode? This is about Lily and her Vulpix. Um, I guess they just travel together and kind of get, gets to know each other. Or maybe this is the episode where they switch. 
egg is blah 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 blah. Oh, the, so so the egg hatched in the episode before, and then in this episode, Lily um, grows to where she can touch it. There we go. That makes sense. And then this this episode, we see the next episode, we see Rock Ruff running away, uh, meets up with, uh, gets challenged by a whole bunch of people, and I think this is where Rock Ruff gets caught. Uh, more stuff with Litton. I don't think Litton's been caught just yet. Yeah, so Litton hasn't been caught yet. Um, then we see the rematch where Pikachu goes up against Tapu Koko, firing off Electrium Z and uh, almost taking out Tapu Koko, but of course Tapu Koko just retreats into his shield and then runs away. Um, then the next, a few episodes later, Ash catches, uh, finally catches Litton. Uh, that's the episode where Stoutland dies and uh, Ash takes that on. Um, what else? What else? Um, Ash's mom comes to visit Alola uh, and takes on or and takes care of Litton. Litton doesn't, I guess, likes Ash's mom and never leaves, never leaves her arms. Um, Team Rocket and the Team Skull wind up facing off for the. I guess they're going for the Darkium Z. I don't think either of them succeeded in getting it. Let's see. Team Rocket takes for themselves. Okay, so that's confirmed. Team Rocket does have Dark EMZ, just needs to get a Z Crystal. So that'll be interesting to see where that comes from. I don't know, we don't know anything about that. We do meet Gladian, as I said. Gladian has an Umbreon and a uh, and a, a Midnight Lycanroc with him. And I think that, I think is really cool. I hope we get to see more of him. I hope he doesn't turn out to be a bad guy, but he probably will. Um, they have a... <laughs> A very strange episode where they just play baseball. That's it. Uh, where it's the good guys against, I, I think, against Team Rocket. Um, then we see the episode where Ash and Lily switch Pokemon for an episode. What else? What else? Uh, we see Lana face off against the Wishy Washy, like we said before. Uh, we see Kiawe catches Marowak. Uh, we see Ash go against the Totem. Yeah, here we go. So Ash goes against the Totem <coughs> Lurantis and earns the Gracium Z and becomes qualified to take on Olivia. The next episode takes on Olivia and wins, as we said. Uh, but Rockruff is uh, starting to show signs of uh, being out of control, and they say that that shows that uh, at, that it's about to evolve. So uh, it runs away in the next episode, winds up evolving into into Dusk form. And then uh, that's pretty much it. A whole bunch of filler stuff until the most recent episode. I feel like we were not. Yeah, so we're sitting at 23 minutes right now. I knew I was going to babble on forever, but I wanted to get all of the episodes prior up. So uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much. Let me know in the comments if you watched the whole thing. Uh, we're going to be back. This episode's going to go up on Thursday morning. On Friday morning, we're going to be back with episode 42. This will actually be our first review of an episode um, where hopefully uh, there's a little more structure to it than just kind of our, our babbling all over the place. But if you enjoyed, go ahead and hit the like button. Do subscribe if you're new. We're going to be bringing these once a week. The, the goal is to be Saturday, right after the episode comes out, depending on how my work schedule and all things like that. We'll see how that comes or it might come out on Monday morning. I really don't know. Uh, but we'll see you in the next anime review episode. But until then, have a blessed day.